It's great. You probably already know that it's great. Um, so let's get to the connection. AVC, Plastic Eric here, Plastic Soundwave Colt, here for another edition of Collection Connection, the game that's just an excuse to talk about music. Um, I do my responses every Monday, and then Bryce makes a connection, and he does it every Thursday, and then I make a connection and do it on Monday. I think you start to get the picture. So, my brother showed the album Franz Ferdinand from Franz Ferdinand, and uh, interesting band. Um, I, uh, I heard that song, Take Me Out, and I thought that that was a killer song, uh, not uh, Franz Ferdinand. Uh, it was funny, I recognized a couple of the songs on that album, but uh, didn't know that they had done them. Didn't know that I knew some Franz Ferdinand albums. So I think I've got one from Bryce on one of his uh, CDs that he sent me. But the interesting thing about that was, is that band was named after a horse, Arch Duke Franz Ferdinand. And um, that horse was named after a very famous person named Arch Duke Franz Ferdinand. Um, probably most famous in history for uh, not being in the band Franz Ferdinand. Um, unfortunately, he wasn't able to get into the band because he was assassinated by a Serbian. But I did find that uh, it was interesting that it's a band named after somebody who's not in the band. And uh, so I did a quick look around, and I have Jethro Tull, who is also not in this band. And uh, this is their 1969 second album, Stand Up which is uh, a very nice one. I've got an OG, no, no Tim Tam, no. I've got an OG press here from 1969 uh, on the reprise, reprise. I say reprise, I don't give a shit what, how people pronounce it really. Um, but uh, fantastic album. Probably one of my more favorite albums from them because uh, I also have uh, songs from the woods and um, you know, that one, you have to be kind of a little bit more of a in, a, in a mood because it's a little bit more mellow. And so, uh, you know, I have to get in a, the mood to listen to that one. But this one here rocks. This one's more more blues-based, I want to say. It's it's less, uh, you know, Lord of the Ringsy. And so, uh, not that, you know, I'm not saying that as a pejorative or nothing. I'm just saying that... You know, this one rocks much more than uh, their stuff that they did later and were kind of more famous for. Um, this actually is a really interesting album because it's still in really good shape. Great eightfold. Let me see if I can do this correctly here. Whee! So this is one of their more rocking albums and uh, it's got that thing in there. Uh, this is in great shape. Uh, the vinyl's in great shape. I think there was just a little bit of warp on the edge when I got it, but it was given to me by a, a friend of my mom's and thought that I would find it interesting. So uh, in order to keep this short, and uh, since I ran long last time, I gotta make up for it this time. So this one's gonna be a much shorter, uh, one, and I'm trying to think what song it is that I really like on here. Uh, I know I really like the first one, and I think I like that Back to the Family is the song that I like on here. Um, I hope this isn't too far out of your wheelhouse, Bryce. It, it does rock a little bit more than, uh, sorry, Tim Tam there, uh, than most of their other stuff. So I, I think you might enjoy this a little bit. Um, I don't know. You might say, oh, it's not bad, but, you know, I don't like it. I, I get that. I, I know your style. So with that, uh, I was able to pad out another few more minutes. And uh, 
That's the end of the thing. Let me throw this one time. Tim Tam here. And um, that way she leaves me alone. Or her, yeah. Come here, buddy. But there's gotta be at least one cat in here. This is Sticks. Hey, Sticks. Hey, Stickies. There you go. <laughs> All right, that's five minutes right there. Um, it ain't just about the music. So until next time, bye.